What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Brandon, and today I will be bringing you the Madden 24 official gameplay trailer. So I didn't bring y'all the um, first thing that EA dropped simply because I was late. I was very late. I forgot that they was posting it. I woke up late that day. I was like, mm, should I get it out? Then I was like, nah, probably not. But that was just me. I be down on myself about it. So I'm bringing y'all this one. Um, we just gonna give y'all our reaction and. I'm not gonna talk too much. We're gonna let this play out and we're gonna basically put our input into what we think the game is gonna be. I'm actually excited about this. It looks very good from what I saw from the last trailer. So we're gonna get straight into it. The goal for gameplay in Madden NFL 24 is to provide players with more control and realism through improvements to the field sense gameplay system, a completely redesigned character skeleton that we're calling Sapien and enhancements to key areas of foundational football. As part of Madden 24's field sense improvements, Hit Everything 2.0 introduces new contested catch tackle types to provide more control and variety on defense. In Madden 23, the mid-air tackling system changed the way players defended the passing game. But those were limited to tackling receivers who were leaping for the ball. In Madden 24, that system expands to all contested catches. So you can now make plays on curls, slants, and crossers much more effectively, and you can hit receivers coming across the middle. All of these improvements increase your control and ability to defend the passing game. New wrap tackle types like scoop tackles, low wrap tackles, mismatch tackles pay off the size, momentum, and matchup of every tackle. On the other side of the ball, improvements to skill-based passing introduces upgrades to make both throwing and catching smoother. Receivers will now maintain their speed and momentum when catching, no matter where you place the pass, giving you more control to get loose and turn up field. A new jump, dive, and no-look pass animations have been added for quarterbacks who often improvise to manufacture a clear passing lane. Madden 24's new character skeleton, Sapien, has been completely rebuilt from the ground up, resulting in more realistic animations that better simulate athletic performance. On the previous skeleton in Madden 23, player limbs and joints weren't always accurately represented. You can see here some of the new ways that Sapien in Madden 24 more accurately reflects the bodies of various NFL players. From players with a unique combination of size and athleticism, to those with more athletic builds, Sapien transforms the way players look, move, and perform on the virtual gridiron. With Sapien, animations have higher fidelity and are more fluid, making the player movement more true to life for smoother gameplay in Madden 24. Sapien also unlocks our ability to respond to community feedback, like adding referees back to the field, and it's optimized for both male and female characters. Enhancements to foundational football in key aspects of gameplay increase the authenticity of every play. First up is blocking. In Madden 23, Blockers sometimes miss their marks. In Madden 24, a new blocking system makes open field blocking AI smarter and more decisive, and in turn, makes it easier for ball carriers to react to blocks. We're also expanding field sense animation branching technology to block, which allows the AI to branch in and out of double teams to get to the second level, chip block, and push the pile. We've added new run concepts like pin and pull and toss crack, with dynamic pre-snap targeting and pull block assignments. All of these improvements will open up more space for the run game in Madden 24. Enhancements to the ball carrier pathfinding and AI behavior include the implementation of frostbite navigation grid capabilities for the first time. The result is a better assessment of the playing field and defensive threats by ball carrier AI, and more appropriate movement through the chaos of a play. As a result of improved traits that intelligently determine how quarterback AI performs, each QB represents a unique defensive challenge in Madden 24. Conservative quarterbacks will check down more often, ideal decision makers know exactly when to sling in a tight window throw, and aggressive signal callers come with high risk, high reward. Mobile quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson are also able to use ball carrier pathfinding and are more dynamic to play against as a result. In addition, AI quarterbacks can better execute the quick passing game, call hot routes, audible at the line, and are smarter and more challenging to play against overall. New read steps and crossover footwork allow DBs to see the ball and make plays more authentically. And now defenders need to be able to see the ball in order to make a play on it. 
As a result, slant routes and crossing routes will have a higher chance of breakups or interceptions, and defenders can utilize new animations to make more plays on high balls. Fumble recoveries are more realistic with new animations like crowded pileups and scoop and scores. And onside kicks are more authentic with the addition of new ball physics. With over 70 new offensive formations, new pass and run plays that take into account a team's identity, and over 500 new plays, there's more play calling variety in Madden 24. New team specific formations take into account real life personnel alignments that allow for unique matchups, letting you be more creative when play call. Improvements to Madden 24's post play engine gives NFL stars more true to life reactions after every play. Contextually appropriate reactions with more celebrations and frustrations make your teammates more dynamic and boosts immersion. Madden NFL 24 was designed to provide players with more control, more realism, and more confidence on the field. And we can't wait for you to get your hands on it. So my thoughts on that, it just got me even more excited. I'm not going to lie. Um, I like the fact that um, you can basically hit everything. Like, it's not just when they go up in the air, um, when the receivers go up in the air, try to catch the ball, that the DB knock them out of the air and stuff like that. I found a lot of times on Madden 23, like they be on the ground and you can go hit them and then you just straight up miss them like completely. I like the um, fact that um, it's basically weighted, if, if that makes sense. So basically, a uh, D-tackle is going to overpower a running back. Um, the bigger running back the ball carrier is, is going to overpower a DB that's not, like, bigger. Like, like how they had Pat Sertan tackling each other, like, by the legs. That's more realistic. And I, I really like the scoop tackle. This is, like, I feel like I'm going to scoop tackle a lot. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a, a certain hit stick or, if it's like, a, just the an animation you get. But I know, it's like, it's about the bigger the player is that's tackling versus the player that they're tackling. So that's back into the um, the weight stuff. Um, I like the fact that the diving passes in the game, that, that was real tough, but I feel like it may be a problem. I feel like I'll be happy when I do it, but when other people do it on me, is I'm ready to quit and delete the game. That's how I'm be feeling. Um, I do feel like it might break the game, but overall, I feel like the game so far is pretty good. Um, I don't see it, like I don't I don't I didn't get a chance to play the beta, so I can't first handedly say like if it's gonna be good or bad. But from what I'm seeing, I had to rate this about an eight. Um, I give it an eight. I feel like now nah, I give it a nine. I feel like the um, only thing that I would have wanted to see is like. I would say like the like mini games is like how would you do on franchise? I don't know if that's coming out next, but like practices for franchise mode because I do play franchise. Um, I play almost ultimate team franchise, um, regs online. So I would just want to see how franchise would be with like the practices. But I like that the AI is becoming better. Um, it's more of a challenge. Maybe I do some franchises just playing the AI since. They supposed to be better, like Madden 23, they was trash, and every other man before, garbage. Um, and I play on all Madden, so that is crazy. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what y'all think about the game. Um, give y'all a rating. And not only that, like, comment down below what y'all want to see. Like, anything that y'all would want to see coming up in Madden 24, just start dropping out ideas. Like, I know I have a couple ideas, but different franchise um, players. I, I have a quarterback in mind, a running back, a corner, and I have a safety. That's all I have right now for the franchise. Um, of course, I'm gonna be playing with the rookies and stuff like that. But yeah, just comment down below what y'all wanna see. We'll catch you in the next one. We out of here. Peace.